Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays, The Binding of Isaac Adrith Plus. I am an idiot, moron man, and I, uh, didn't get the rerun achievement last time. But I did get the negative, at least. On that, like, Aiden, uh, three million years, uh, hour-long run, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna try a greedier Azazel, you know why? I always, I shy away from playing as Azazel. And it's stupid. We gotta play as him at some point. 9 ETP TF2A. The Force 2 Awakens. That's the sequel to The Force Awakens. Coming out this December. From Yay Yay Abrams. Not JJ Abrams. Yay Yay Abrams. How you doing, Yay? I'm surviving. I was directing earlier. Now I'm driving. Um, we're gonna grab Black Candle. And dude, okay. Well, actually, we might already have the keys to the kingdom. I know you're saying it's a little too early to say that you got the keys. I'll, I'll just say we got the garage door opener for the garage that is adjacent to the kingdom. We push the button, we can get into the garage. Because blank card, essentially, with like almost anything to back it up, uh, is, is extremely, extremely good. Not black candle, sorry. Did I say black candle? Blank card. I might have said blank card. Either way, we want to get 12 cents on this floor. This is a floor where we buy. We're like Matthew McConaughey in The Wolf of Wall Street. Look, it's been like six years. Well, not six years. It's been like four years since I've seen The Wolf of Wall Street. But I assume, you know, he's like some kind of stockbroker or something. He's buying all the time. Buying and selling. Import-export. We need uh, 12 cents because five of it goes... Five of it go, goes uh, towards a key, seven of it goes towards getting blank card. And honestly, getting like 9 volt wouldn't be too bad here either, but let's start with this. Nightlight is actually okay, I think, as uh, Azazel. That might give us like a little range upgrade. I don't think it does. <laughs> Wishful thinking, but we'll still take it because you know it adds a little... Uh, that's adds a little certain uh, ribbing for our pleasure at this point. A certain je ne sais quoi. A certain uh, je voudrais un croissant, s'il vous plaît. Puis je l'ai à la salle de bain. Puis je l'ai à la salle de bain. It would squirt a great deal. This is going nowhere. Okay. This is terrible damage. We're going to get enough money uh, to get... 9 volt if we want it. Do we want it? I think you have to say that it's probably for the best. You know, it, it basically gives us a 25% faster charge rate. Dude, I swear to God, every single floor, we start with uh, a deal with the devil that doesn't have any dang deals in it. D20, also lovely, but I mean, we got the Azazel keys right now. Or we're, we're adjacent to the garage door. In fact, we actually, like, you know, if this was the Escapist 2, we knocked a guard out. We copied his key card. We haven't actually put our plan into action, but we got the infrastructure to do so in the future. Quickly peep this. Tears upgrade, very good. What else do we need? Well, I mean, a tears upgrade that basically cuts a third off of our rate of fire is lovely. No thank you. Um, I can see forever is also pretty good. Ever. The real draw, I think. Well, let's see if it's a demon judgment. judgment. It is a demon. The real draw, I think, though, is a uh, range upgrade if we can swing it. I'll buy a two cent heart just to give myself a little extra pull here. Got I'm Drowsy, which is actually a very, very good pill. If you know that you got it. If you don't know that you got it, it's not so good. So we definitely need... I mean, we'd like to buy a card. On top of a card, obviously, we need a... Uh, a key to get into our item room, and then on top of that, some more red hearts to maybe play this uh, Demon Judgment. Wouldn't be the worst thing, but keep in mind, like, right now, the Azazel loop is, like, the same in every mode. You start out looking really strong, and usually you end up being really strong, but it's totally possible to get screwed by the fact that your range is garbage. And Ultra Greed is genuinely one of the hardest bosses in the game. You know, probably not quite as difficult as Delirium, but we don't want to be in his face most of the time. We're going to want to be, like, as far away as we can conceivably be. Would have been a great magic mush, but that's fine. Um, we want to be as far away as we can get. While still being able to hit. 
So unless we get a, a brimstone, we're going to be looking for... You know, I mean, I'm trying to think of what would actually work for us here in the... In the blank card department. And I don't think there is anything. If we got, like, placebo range upgrade pill, we can make... That was bad. We can make that happen, but... I mean, that's not blank card. We can't make it happen with, like, a little baggie or anything, so... Um, there is a range plus luck upgrade in there, but... To be honest, I kind of like... Basically, because these are two cents, it's like a cent per play on the Demon Judgment. We could also give up a Spirit Heart to make it happen, which isn't the worst idea. And we got Missing Page 2 in the end. I'm gonna say that a key is a little bit more important than being able to get Mom's Pearls, but that might be short-sighted. We got Compound Fracture, which was a, uh, a range upgrade. But apart from that, a little bit of a... Not quite as good on Azazel as it is on other characters, shall we say. But that's the thing, you know, you gotta you gotta buy a ticket to the lottery to have a chance to win. I hate that that's the metaphor for like... <laughs> for, for taking risk. You gotta do something that statistically is gonna lose you money over the course of your lifetime if you wanna get ahead. That's not really the case, I suppose, but... You know, the metaphor fits, except it's more like, you know, you gotta apply for the job if you wanna get it. That metaphor is way less exciting, because if you get a job, now you got a job. If you win the lottery, you get like, you know, $180 million or something. Did you guys see that story? There was a man in, um, in Maine, you know, in the United States of America. He won the lottery. The lottery was $25,000 a year for the rest of his life. But my dude is 93 years old! I'm not, look, he's paid his taxes, presumably, he's, uh, he's got as much of a right to do with his money whatever he wants, but does he work for the Lottery Corporation? Because, like, it just seems a little suspicious to me that a 93-year-old man is entering, Blank Cardiera is obviously extremely good, that a 93-year-old man is entering contests to you know, win blank a year for the rest of his life. Like, I'm not, again, this is not a, the right time to use uh, Yera. We'll save it for the next floor. I'm not suggesting he shouldn't be able to. But am I wrong to suggest that he shouldn't have? <laughs> like, I don't know. It's tough because I mean, the range upgrade here is nice. It's tough. Wait, the range up here is not nice. Plus 0 0.25? Why even bother? Um, oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Check this. What's the card? Justice. Oh, baby. What's the big deal? Um, well, let's hit this. We should have hit this first. Now that we have the bomb, we, we could blank card Yera in a different situation, actually, and also probably stand to gain some money. Um, but there's a nickel in here and infinity keys. So, we'll, we'll try to make this work. I should have gone to the arcade. Or, not the arcade, but the item room. It's, it's a tough thing for me to tease out how I want to say how I feel about the issue. I'm not even saying he's selfish for playing, because reasonably he probably didn't expect to win. He might have just bought a lottery ticket and been like, yeah, you know, this will entertain me for like 10 minutes or something like that, but <laughs> it's like he, sh he should have the rights to like transfer the the winnings or something to, to his estate because it just seems unfair. A, a great boon for the Lottery Corporation, or maybe not, you know, maybe he'll live to be 130, in which case, you know, I, I look extremely callous in the present situation. I'm also not saying that even if he lives for, uh... Oh, we should have doubled that probably about 20 years ago. Um, I'm not saying that even if he only lives for one year that, it, that he shouldn't have the right to collect on the 25 grand that he's earned, but I'm just saying, like, the, the Lottery Company, like, bases its margins on what their expected payout is. They're probably expecting not a 93-year-old to win that, uh, you know, $25,000 a year for the rest of your life payout. It's just, it's a funny situation. It, it, you might even say it's Alanis Morissette-esque. Isn't it ironic? An old man, 1098. Who won the lottery? 
the twenty-five thousand dollars a year for the rest of us. Okay, that's more like custom fitted, but, um, dude, I'm I'm so mad because Bighorn is like, he's dead. But I can't get to him without touching the coins. We lost a lot of HP here, but actually losing HP is mostly irrelevant considering we're probably going to have pretty close to infinite money. What we need actually is a battery charge. Like, okay, hear me out here. Because if we get a battery charge, things change a lot here. Battery baby is really good, but the battery charge is where we want to be. Because now we can double here endlessly, and that gives us endless everything. I think we have double envy, unfortunately. It might actually... No, it's got to be double envy. One super envy, one regular envy. Um, this borderline gives us the win, I think. I mean, blank card, it's just like... It's kind of almost cheating in, uh, in greed mode. It's within the rules of the game, but it's also like... Really, really easy. We're also one item away from becoming guppy. So I think we start Wiera. And Wiera. There's a justice card as well. Wiera. And then Wiera. Uh, and what do you do after that? Well, you, you want to avoid like cluttering up the screen too much. So we're gonna buy Battery Baby because it's excellent. I'll think about that. We might as I don't want to keep doubling necessarily. The thing is, you might be saying, well, why are you picking stuff up? You could just double it later. Yeah, but we can also double one thing infinity times. So we have infinity no matter which way you slice it. Let's go with latch key for a little extra je ne sais quoi. Uh, we'll, we'll take a couple of range upgrades here. And then uh, let's go. I mean, with too many justice cards, to be honest. That Yera, and maneuver to the battery charge. There you go. Like, it's going to become tough to do anything in there. We could have just gotten our money out here, I guess. But we can also get infinite money anywhere we want. I don't really want to do this for one cent at a time. <laughs> Be here for 20 years. Uh, why are you paying for a battery charge in today's modern world, dude? You know what? I think we should get like 99 cents and then head down to the next floor. Like just take all of your money, make sure you leave with the Yara rune, and then just go to the next floor. Because we've, we've crowded this up too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is fine. There should be no shortage of good items. Wow, our range actually looks good now. We still have blank card Yera. Range is 29. It was 18, I think, at the start of this floor, so... Relatively... Well, it's not that big, but it's decent. Pyro's good. HP we can always use, because we did take deals with the devil here. Um, we might as well peep this room real quick. We got blank card, high priestess, which is irrelevant, I would say. And a reroll machine, which is awesome. Okay, so again, we got a battery charge right off the bat. What do you do? If that's a nickel, well, we got two cents. <laughs> Just looking at this, I'm like, we get a key and a red heart. But every time we do this, we're also losing a cent to get a key in a... Uh, no, no, not forever, though, because we're creating more money on the ground. That's right. Okay. So we're just going to create, like, a bunch of money. We're lucky there's not nearly as many consumables here this time. So, yeah, we'll just double to, like, this point. And then uh, start buying. So we'll get PJs. Another range upgrade. Another range upgrade. Cuba meat is fine. Halo's good. One up, not necessary yet. We'll go spider mod. Start doubling again. Now we've done it. Such a satisfying sound, though. Okay. Uh, we'll go one up now. I can't even see the other item. We'll go lump of coal. Take some HP. Take a tears upgrade. Nah, we don't need that. 
Where's our other... Where's our other item? There it is. No, wait, that's... I thought we had another item in here. I don't know where it went. Let's go for the reroll. So we had Luckfoot. That's okay. I'll go for... Oh, BFF. Absolutely. X-ray goggles. Absolutely. D4, not necessary yet. We'll go experimental treatment. Take another range upgrade. It's about to get real crowded in here. Take a speed upgrade. I'll take another HP upgrade. We can use the red hearts. Take the damage upgrade. Okay, I think we're ready now to fight on this floor. <laughs> I don't know, do we? We might as well double right off the bat. Because that first, you know, knocking out an early doubling can mean a lot eventually. As long as we don't accidentally pick up anything. And then, like, here, it's much easier for us to not uh, pick up all the coins accidentally, you know? So, why are we getting a battery charge every time I press the space bar? I don't know, if, if we, we've done something amazing. Every time I press the space bar, I get another battery charge back. Every th whatever I've done to deserve this, I it was not enough because this is unlimited rolls of unlimited money, which is a new level of ridiculousness. And again, we we can actually pick up all of this if we want because we're getting so many more charges. It actually does not matter. Hard to get out of the mindset that this is like wasting money, but. Little harder to care when you realize that it's well and truly infinite, especially because we've got battery charges in here. I can't even see what's going on in here. So sure, give me a tears upgrade. We're at the tears cap. Give me a reroll. Oh, dude, another damage upgrade and spun. Another tears upgrade that won't work for us. Another syringe, box of stuff. Another syringe, which is also a range upgrade. I mean, I don't really care about the left hand right now. Is that uh, mom's key? I mean, it's okay. We instantly got fully charged again. We'll go mom's key. Uh, I mean, kind of feel like we might as well stack red hearts to some extent. Like, anything that gives us stats is, is more or less worth taking, I think. Lemon party. We need, like, a quarter of the screen to get the max HP. Got the fungi transformation. And we're actually just buying HP to avoid using a single bomb to reroll right now, which is not smart. But on top of not being smart, you know what it is? Uh, extremely not relevant because this is actually like the most money I think I've ever had the capability of having on a run. I'm kind of stunned. I'm also just waiting for chaos to eventually show up. Oh, I used the <laughs> blank card health up. There we go. So this will be a win, it's just a matter of whether or not I have the patience to actually take the run to like its logical conclusion here. I mean, straw is fine, actually. Obviously like not quite as good as a lot of the other stuff we got going on on this run. We might as well, there's probably like transformations that we could create that we've never seen before, or not seen in this save file I should say. So bum friend is actually a terrible pickup. He's gonna pick up all of the the myriad coins we got, but we might be able to double too fast for him to actually grab them all. A lot of these do like literally nothing for us. Rubber cement might bounce. I can't remember. Is that another D? It is D four. I don't want the broken remote. Stop! Get it? I can't see what's going on. Okay, I think we almost like... We still have Yara. We still have Yara. 
think we almost have to get out of here. Like, I, I just can't see what's going on in that room anymore. Oh, rubber cement does bounce off the wall, so we're pretty close here. Dude, this is like ideal Tammy's head. I don't even... Look at bum friend when it goes over one of the coins that has like eight coins on it. It goes like... Goop. And now, can you do that sound for me one more time? Goop. Like, he's still... This is the fattest bum friend we'll ever see in our entire lives. He's gonna pick up like a thousand cents. My dude is still going. I mean, at this point, we might as well take, like, literally everything. I don't know why I even rushed for that. I don't think we need illuminated bulb. It's not like the other ones are doing anything for us. Oh, he's paying out. Get out of the way. <laughs> we, could, we could be there all day. He's still paying. I actually think this guy might pay out for eternity. Like, my dude is still going. Oh, another damage upgrade. Getting up there. Damage is still, like, a weak spot, but not by too much. Uh, so we have no battery charge here. This is where... Oh, my God. He's going to drop all this stuff on the ground. And it's going to annoy the crap out of me because every time I double, it's just going to crowd things up. So, I mean, we might as well almost just stand still. Wait for him to pay out with everything he's going to pay out with because... We're approaching, like, absurdity here. And by approaching, I mean, like... <laughs> we, we crossed the absurd threshold quite a long time ago. Is he still going? Yep. Yes, he is. I can see forever. Um... Well, I mean, most of these items kind of stink, let's be honest. Take fast bombs. Ooh, leprosy. Number one, minor range downgrade in our current context, thankfully. We're mostly just buying at this point because uh, there's not a great reason not to. We have, I mean, we, we literally do not have to donate anything. We've already gotten our donation machine to its peak, so. Oh, bum friend is picking up all the money, so there's not actually too much point in going for the... Rerolls here, unless you can do them fast enough to kind of create enough money to. Nah, I don't know. Things, things are gonna get real confusing in this room if we keep doing that. Not like we're in a, a terrible spot here. We're actually like in an incredible spot. I kind of. I'm in over my head though. In the sense that I have no idea what's happening at any given moment because of the fact that. It's, it's just so busy. Are we done? We're done. Let's just finish it up here. Like, I don't even mean finish the run. I just mean finish this floor. Like, I would love if you just gave me a deal with the devil that turned me into Guppy. Because honestly, like, I'm like Howard Hughes in his movie room right now in his home theater I'm trapped in there I got no idea what's going on there we go there's the guppy dream we might as well take little horn you got some I can't even tell because we got so many familiars like I've, I've surrounded myself with uh, with things I can't see anymore even like bum friend is just living off of the passive income here I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but at the same time, like, please let me out. <laughs> we gotta finish this one off. It's been a fun run, like, I mean, we, we're the picture of Isaac's success right now, yet at the same time, it's almost like be careful what you wish for. Which is why I'm, I'm gonna take it a little simpler on this floor. I'd still like to get some improvements, like, I'd like to be at max level HP, whether that's some combination of red hearts and spirit hearts, red hearts only, etc, etc. Um, I wouldn't mind replacing the card in blank card with something else right now. Like, we don't necessarily need Yara anymore. This 
really just one floor of madness created this situation. Is he... Oh, they're all completely alive. Okay. This is why I both love and hate Greedier. <laughs> or Greed in general. Because it was like, it's a really fun run. But the Zane is almost removed by the amount of Zane you can get. It's too much Zane. Luxstat is four, so I think Gimpy's a fine pickup. And in here. Okay, blow this up first. Blow this up. And we, we got consumables out the wazoo here. It's a common expression. People say it all the time. Uh, I think first just lowers our shot speed, huh? Um, first, see what you get out of starter deck. We get a, a good card. I, yeah, that'll do. Um, Two of diamonds. So, how do we do this? I mean, with only one battery, we could have done this better. But I think we'll buy telekinesis. It's a fun item. We'll buy this. I think we'll buy this. We'll double up. Oh, I didn't use blank card to double up. That's fine. We should have a full charge on blank card anyway. Yeah, we'll use that to double up. Remember, we don't have to donate anything. So, the next step is just, uh, since there's no battery charges, we're going to use notched axe. Dad's key doesn't do anything for us. These are We're just getting, like, all the actives out. Lusty blood is lovely. Um... We might as well just buy this double with two of diamonds. Pick up Papa Fly. We're just trying to get the maximum amount of resources. Chocolate Milk, I think, is a big damage boost, right? Or a big fire rate upgrade? Capricorn? Not really much in the damage department. Uh, I don't think Static Tears does anything for us, so... I think we're okay. We'll just take uh, Telekinesis with us. Get the heck out of town. We still have a Yara rune. The purpose of the Yara rune at this point is to use a uh, little Chad. Ah, would that will that even work? It might not. I was gonna say to use little Chad to uh, generate twice as many red hearts for us, but maybe it'll be relevant. Maybe it won't. That'll probably be relevant though. Yeah, we don't need flatworm at all. So just rock like this. And telekinesis is actually just good. So the idea is. Whenever he shoots at us, especially explosive shots, we can push him away with telekinesis. As long as we remember to actually press the button. Does not work on keys, just tried it. It's like extremely good damage output. Mind you, because of the ultra armor, the dude is going to be relatively safe regardless. But, you know, that's that's a bone to pick for another day. I don't want to go off on a rant here. I, mean, I had a good Dennis Miller impression lined up, but the, the hard part is just thinking of the words. I don't want to go off on a rant here, but does anyone think that Machiavellian philosophy is like throwing relish only on a hot dog? I mean, come on, there's so many better options. Sure, it might get you calories, but why don't you go for something that tastes good? Dennis Miller, of course, most famous for his uh, role as radio DJ in Joe Dirt, I thought. You cannot hurt me. Unless you move very, very slightly up. Shoot at me. Shoot at me, see what happens. I'm ready. I'm ready for telekinesis. Look at that. You've been deflected, sir. And then I stood right under the next shot, but we're going to ignore that part. Finally. And by finally, I mean 28 minutes into this run, we are going to be done. And I don't think there's any reason to donate anymore. We just got Batwing, which I basically never use. Take two cents. 
we'll be on our merry way. Good run. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.